Fluent Assertions is a great little library that you can add to your .NET projects to make unit testing easier. It works with .NET Framework, .NET Core, and .NET Standard projects. It's compatible with a variety of testing frameworks, including MS-Test, XUnit, NUnit, Galio, MBUnit, MSpec, and NSpec. Now, they have a great website with excellent docs and examples. Fluent Assertions is so easy. I'll show you the basics, but you're going to love it. Really, it's a no-brainer, because it's lightweight, and honestly, I'm not sure what the downside is. To start using Fluent Assertions, all you have to do is add the NuGet package, Fluent Assertions. Here's a simple example of using Fluent Assertions. I have a unit test here, and I'm using XUnit. You can see that I have the assert that uh, acts on a Boolean, so it says assert true, and you pass in the result, and you find out whether, of course, it's true or false. Now, in this case, Fluent Assertions reads slightly differently. It says result dot should dot be true, or result should be true. Reads really nice. Now, of course, you could do the opposite. You could say result should be false. In this example, you see how with an X unit assert, we say assert equal, and you pass in the expected value, and then the second parameter is the value you're testing against. With fluent assertions, it looks and reads much nicer, I think, and says result should be, and then the expected value. And you could do other things like starts with, in this case, you could say result should start with exp. There's a lot of assertions you can set up with Fluent Assertions, and I'm not going to go through every one of them in this short video. I wanted to point out a few that I think are really cool and stand out. For instance, if I have a list of objects, I could say that the result should contain, and then in this case, it's a person, and I'm testing for the first name of being Andy. So the result should contain an item where the first name is Andy. Right? I think that reads pretty nicely. I also like things like result should have a count greater than three. Again, it's a list. We're checking that. How about this for a list? The result should be in ascending order, where the ascending order is based on first name. That's a pretty cool uh, assertion to be able to make nice and easily. I can also check on unique items, and I could say that all of the IDs, all of the items in the list should have unique IDs. And then, interestingly, I can say should the result should satisfy respectively. And basically, we're doing multiple assertions. We can do even more, where the first item should look like this. The first item should be, have an ID, uh, first ID should be one. First last name should start with J. And then on the second one, second ID should be two. Second last name should end with E. I also like the way Fluent Assertions works with dates, date time to be specific. And so in this case, I have a test that's working against a uh, date time. And you can see the syntax here. Result should be 1 March 2010 at 2215. It's a nice, clean way to spell out the date and be able to read that and have it make sense. I also really like this one. This case, I want to test that the result is at least two days before the delivery date variable. And so in this case, result should be at least two days before delivery date. That's written out so well. That's just so helpful to make my tests readable and easier to maintain. So those are some examples that I think stand out that just show how uh, Fluent Assertions can really make your unit tests easier to read and write. I would suggest you go to fluentassertions.com and check out their website. They've got a good website with great documentation. And you can see here, they show you how to get started. And there's a whole bunch of examples about how to use Fluent Assertions with strings and all the different methods you can do on strings and examples, dates and times, we talked about that, um, GUIDs even, right, and uh, enums, exception handling, uh, all kinds of great stuff that you can do with Fluent Assertions. It's a really good library, and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Andy Schwamm. I hope you like this video. If you do, please check out the other videos like this on my YouTube channel, Schwammy Streams. There'll be more videos coming soon. Also, I hope you'll join me for Schwami Streams live Wednesdays at noon Eastern Time. That's on Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube, where you'll find me live coding and building software. And if you stop by, say hi. It's interactive, and you can make a comment or make a suggestion or ask a question. So I hope to see you soon.